Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm Doug Dagnabbit from Modern Warzone and welcome to our first ever Call of Duty Vanguard video. And in today's video, we'll be going over what I believe to be the best controller settings for you or for anybody else who wants to improve their movement, their gameplay, and improve how smooth Vanguard could feel because it's a great game and without the proper settings, it just doesn't feel as smooth as it should. So let's get right into it. I'm not going to carry this out. It's going to be a short, quick video. I'm not going to talk about different sensitivities and stuff because that's all up to personal preference. I'm going to go through the settings that I'm positive that you should change to improve your experience, okay? We're gonna get started off. We're gonna go over into our settings to controller. The aiming input device should be set to controller. I play on 4-4 sense, very low, I know. So um, that affects some of my other things. I keep the um, sensitive sensitivity multipliers both at one. My custom sensitivity per zoom is off. I don't like to have any variance in between my weapons. I know some people do. If you'd like to, change that for yourself. I play on a default uh, button layout preset. But I do have paddles on my controller uh, for um, slide canceling, so I don't need to change anything for that. Um, I left the vertical aim on foot, ground vehicles, and all that as standard. I do play on an aim response curve type as standard because I play on such a low sensitivity. I need that increased speed when I hold my stick to the right or the left to be able to turn on people if I need to. Now, a lot of the best players in the game will tell you to use linear because that is much you know, more indicative of how you're controlling your right stick by each pixel. So if you are if you think you're really, really cracked at Call of Duty, I recommend linear. Um, if not, I recommend staying on standard, especially if you play at a low sensitivity. Um, I keep my controller vibration on just because it's good feedback for me and I've always played with it. I know a ton of people play with it off. When I play Warzone, I play with it off. So this is a purely... Purely um, up to you when it comes to this. Most of the big changes will be in gameplay. Um, I do turn weapon fire threshold off. And what that does is it, it affects the way the firing button will react based on which weapon you're using. So like a semi-auto, a burst, or a full auto weapon. And like I said, I like for all of my guns to feel the same, at least on my controller. Um, ADS sensitivity, transition timing, I have that on instant. I have this multiplier set to one, as usual, stick layout preset, default, controller orientation up, ADS stick swap is off. I put my left trigger and right trigger minimum input zone to zero, and that is very important. I don't know if Modern Warfare or Warzone even have this, but I put mine at zero. If you don't, you're going to feel like you're pulling the trigger and it's just not shooting or it's being delayed by something. Um, I have my left stick and my right stick minimum input dead zones to three. Now, I had them set to zero for a little while, and I found that was just a bit too much. It was a little, it was reacting to things that I didn't even realize I was doing. I found three to be the perfect sweet spot. Um, if you have stick drift, this is the setting that you would need to change. So I was playing on the PS4 with a controller that did have stick drift and had a bad left stick. So I had to turn this left stick minimum input dead zone all the way up to 40. And it was not a fun experience, but it fixed my issue. Um, I recommend keeping them as low as you can while still being able to play the way you'd like to play. And I also keep the max input dead zones turned all the way up. That way you have the biggest range of motion that you can use with your sticks. Now let's move over to gameplay. These are going to be the real game changers for you. I leave target aim assist on. I do not mess with target aim assist mode. Some people would like to. If you'd like to, you can choose between precision, focusing, or black ops. ADS aim assist is on. Weapon mount activation for me is ADS plus melee. I like it like that. I'll always keep it like that. Um, some people use tactical, so that probably wouldn't be good for them. Weapon mount movement exit. That just means if you are mounted on something and you pull your stick away from it, you'll immediately unmount. You don't have to click any other buttons. I keep that on at all times. Depleted ammo weapon switch I keep on. Blind firing I'm keeping on, even though you're rarely ever going to use it in this game. Um, audit, this is the biggest one. I made a whole Twitter video about this and it's helped out. So many people have let me know that the game feels 10 times smoother to them. This is what's going to change how slide canceling feels for you in Call of Duty Vanguard. Um, at first I had it off because typically you want any type of airborne mantle or automatic mantling off because it gets you into situations you don't want to be in. But in Vanguard, putting it on partial and hitting advanced and turning off grounded mantle and automatic ground mantle will make your slide canceling as buttery smooth as Modern Warfare and War Zones, in my opinion. I've been playing 10 times better since I did that. Um, I've messed around with some of the other options and none of them feel as good to me. I will tell you guys this. If you do mess with this setting, okay, 
you may have some issues being able to grapple up to certain objects as easily just make sure you spam your jump button it should help you out a little bit uh, mantle stance queuing i have off and that would be if i were to crouch walk up to something to mantle it and then mantle over it it would keep me crouched if i had that on even after i mantled so i do not want that if i'm mantling over something i want to be i want to be standing up i play with automatic tactical sprint on um, i turned it off for a while because i didn't like the slide canceling but then i found the previous trick i just showed you guys and it made a world of difference so i keep this on um, honestly you don't have to play with tax sprint on on this game um, you can hold angles, you can play slowly, and you'll do well. That's just not my style of play, so I choose not to. Auto move forward is off. Sprint canceling reload is on. Sprinting door bash is on. Um, slide behavior, another hugely important setting you need to change if you like to move around quickly or move, play the game like you're playing Warzone or Modern Warfare. You need to set that to tap. No exceptions. Set that to tap. Keep it on tap. Aim down sight behavior is hold, equipment behavior is hold, steady aim behavior is hold, automatic weapon behavior is hold, interact and reload behavior, this is up to you, you can go between tap to reload, tap to interact, prioritize reload or prioritize interact. Honestly, for me, there's not that much to interact with in this game besides when you want to change to somebody's weapon on the ground because you ran out of ammo. So I keep mine on tap to reload. Um, I, I was doing um, prioritize um, reload and I didn't like how it felt, so I'm keeping it on tap to reload. And my scoreboard behavior is on toggle. And that's all my controller settings for Call of Duty Vanguard so far. Um, the game's only been out for about two or three days. I'm having a blast. I've been streaming almost all of it over on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash Modern Warzone Live. And I have a lot more Vanguard content cooked up or coming out for you guys. I have a graphic setting video I'm working on. Um, I'm going to be going through the new features such as clans, combat pacing. I'm going to be going through all of the different best loadouts in the game. Like there's a two-shot MP40 and STG build out there right now. There's a Type 100 build that's absolutely busted. Um, the Owen gun is good. The Thompson is good. There's a lot of different and good weapons in this game. And everybody's so focused on the STG40 and the MP40 that they can't, they can't get their mind off of it. But I hope you guys learned something new in today's video. Um, I'm grinding the camo for the first time for um, any Call of Duty, the Mastery camo. I've gotten gold, platinum, and diamond in other games before, but I've never gone all the way and made sure that I finished them all. And um, I'm not going to lie to you guys, it's, get, it's getting difficult already. I'm almost done with one launcher. I'm close to gold on three or four guns. But man, there's, there's like 37 or 38 guns I have to go through, and it's getting tough. It really is getting tough, so... I hope you guys learned something new. If you did learn something new and got some help from this video and it improved your gameplay in any way, please drop a like and a comment and subscribe down below. Ring the bell, turn notifications on. I plan to drop more videos for Call of Duty Vanguard and for Warzone Pacific than I have, period, on the Modern Warzone YouTube channel. So I appreciate all your support. Thank you. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.